As my sexual identity blossomed, I battled with how to live the covert double life that was required of LGBTQ military members at that time. Steve Morose was an Air Force officer in the late 1980s before the military found out he was gay and put him on trial. You were looking at 17 years in prison. I was five years per sodomy charge and a year per conduct on becoming charge. He was sentenced to two years at a military prison. And I thought my military life was over, but in that moment, I thought my life was over. Last year when we spoke, he was still hoping for the day when the government would make things right. They have the ability to look back and say, people who are hanging under the weight of something that is no longer valid should be made whole. And today, word of that long-awaited redemption arrived. President Biden announced former service members who were convicted of crimes solely for being gay could apply for pardons. For veterans like Morose, a pardon represents the only possible path to justice. I was a great officer, and that all got taken away from me. I didn't deserve that. And a recognition of harm that's decades past due. Suddenly it brought this all to the forefront again, and that love and support is a tsunami um, again this morning, and it's amazing. The pardons are not automatic. Veterans will have to apply to prove they're eligible. After that, they can go to their military branch and apply to have their discharge changed, which the White House says should unlock access to critical VA benefits down the road. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Washington.